Hello, today I'll be showing how to organize your pages on Clip Studio Paint for publishing like your favorite magazines or Tankobon. I've got a manuscript drawn out for my one shot and now I want to get it set up. First off, when using traditional manuscript paper, there are guidelines for various trim marks for pages. These same guidelines can also be found in Clip Studio Paint. On the very inside dash margin is the drawing frame. This is where the important text and images should mostly reside for easy reading. On the next frame surrounding the drawing frame is the print cutoff lines. This is the margin where you can go outside the drawing frame while still being printed. This area is good if you want your panels to stretch to the very edge of the page. Finally, on the very outer edge is the cutoff marks. This is the margin where your art may not be printed and will get chopped off during final binding, cutting, and alignment. I'd advise not putting any important text or details outside of these margins. Now that we've figured that out, let's set up our full one shot by opening a new file and clicking comic. If you're starting straight from digital, you may use any size you see fit, especially if your publisher has a certain guideline. But if you're using scanned pages, you can follow the exact size of the paper to make sure it fits smoothly. Mine is 182 by 257 millimeters using the leader art paper. For expression color, you can change it based on if your comic is colored or black and white. And then I'll add the title. Then below that, indicate the number of pages and we finally get to the binding section. For western comics, it's usually from the left, while for manga, it's usually from the right. The binding point dictates where the pages start or end from. Binding right will prioritize filling the right end of the book first, while binding left will fill the first pages from the left. I personally want to stick with the typical manga format, so I'll be starting from the right, reading to the left, then left binding so I can start my first page on the left side. <sighs> Man, that was a mouthful. This is very important if you're going to have double page spreads to avoid awkward separation of pages that are supposed to be together. So I'd highly recommend replaying this section and seeing the effect of each binding setting to help choose your preference. Finally, if you want to have the option to have double page spreads, just check the box here. Now once that's ready, you can separate your double pages into single pages by right clicking and separating. When you have it all set up, Clip Studio makes a file for each single page and a file aggregating all of the pages together in one folder. And now you can finally copy and paste your scans and resize them to polish your manga digitally and publish for the world to see. If you found this helpful but need more help on creating double page spreads, click the video here and if you like my content on manga tips and reviews, feel free to subscribe. As always, I'll see you next time.